Hey everybody, this is the fourth here. And in this video, I wanted to talk about the importance of double checking your mixes and tell you how I like to go about double checking my own mixes. When you mix a song, ideally you want to mix it in such a way that it will sound as good as possible across a variety of different sound systems. And this should be kind of common sense. You know, you want to be able to play your song on any sound system and have it sound decent. This way, you can show your friends on their phones or in their cars, play it at a party or a club, or even play it on some small computer or laptop speakers without being embarrassed by how it sounds. And this is why it's important to double check your mixes to make sure that they do sound good on a number of different sound systems. Now, you do want to do a little bit more than just listen to your track on a few different sound systems to properly double check things. So I'm going to explain what I do when I really want to make sure a track is mixed well. In order to make sure your mix sounds good on different sound systems, you need to have something to compare it to. You need to know how professional mixes sound on a sound system so that you can be a bit more objective when deciding whether or not your track sounds good on that sound system. So what I do is make a playlist that I use when double checking my mixes. In this playlist will be a few different songs of the same genre or the same style of music, along with a level matched version of my reference track and my song which I am double checking the mix of. To get the level matched version of my reference track, I just export it from my mixing project. So if I'm reference mixing, I'll have my reference track in the playlist as well as the tracks that make up my song. And since I've been using the reference track to help me make my mixing decisions, it should be at roughly the same loudness as my mix. So all I have to do is solo the reference and export it. And then that audio file goes in my playlist. Once you have this playlist set up, you just want to make sure you have a way to play it on these different types of speakers. Maybe you put the playlist on your phone or on an iPod. Maybe you just burn it on a CD. Or maybe you have to do different things for different speakers. But once you have a way to play this playlist on the different speakers, you're ready to get started. I usually wait at least a day or two between finishing up the latest draft of my mix and double checking it. This gives my ears time to rest and allows me to be a bit more objective. I also try to avoid double checking my mixes on too many sound systems in a single day for the same reasons. How many types of speakers and which speakers you double check your mix on is entirely up to you, but you do want to make sure that there is some variety. I would recommend at least checking on one set of large, one set of medium, and one set of smaller speakers, as well as either headphones or earbuds. Ideally, I would check on each of the following types of sound systems. So the first would be a bass heavy sound system. And this is very important and I definitely recommend you double check your mix on a bass heavy sound system. Because a lot of people, myself included, tend to mix in too much bass, especially if they're mixing on smaller monitors or headphones. And double checking on a bass heavy sound system will make it very obvious if you have too much bass in your track where you might not even notice it on other sound systems. It doesn't have to be a huge expensive sound system or anything, just as long as it has a good powerful bass response and can play very low frequencies very well. A car sound system that has a lot of bass would work fine. And so in addition to that bass heavy sound system, I would try to listen to it on a typical consumer home stereo, a set of car speakers or even, you know, a couple different sets of car sound systems. Small speakers, like laptop speakers or small desktop computer speakers. Tiny speakers, like smartphone or tablet speakers. A pair of good headphones. If you mix with headphones, preferably a different set of headphones than those that you mix with. And finally, a set of, you know, your typical earbuds like that you might get with an iPod or something. And I don't always end up checking on each of these, but this is ideally what I would want to do if I really, really wanted to ensure that I had a good mix. And basically what I do is listen to that playlist I was talking about earlier 
on each of these sets of speakers. For each set of speakers, I first listen to the different professional songs to get used to the character and frequency balance of the speakers. I usually start off by listening not too loudly, just loud enough for me to hear things pretty well. Then I listen to the level matched reference track and turn up the volume until it sounds as loud as the songs I was just listening to. And I listen really closely to the reference track. Then once I've finished listening to the reference track, I'll listen to my track really closely and see how it compares to the reference. Usually I'll skip back and forth a few times between my song and the reference to kind of focus on different sounds or different sections of the song. I'll also adjust the volume to see what I notice when it's played a lot louder, as well as when it's played a lot quieter. But I always try to compare my track back with that reference track. And while I do all of this, if anything in my track doesn't sound the way it should, or the way I'd like it to, I'll make a note of it on a pad of paper, or my phone, or um, you know, wherever I'm able to take notes. Because it's important to take these notes somehow, so that you can refer to them when you go back and touch up the mix later. So maybe my song doesn't sound as wide as the reference track. Or maybe my snare is too soft. Or my bass is too loud. Or there's too much treble. Or the hi-hats are too loud. Whatever problems I notice in my track, I will write down. And so I do this for each set of speakers. Sometimes certain problems will appear across a number of the different speakers you double check your mixes on, and this is a very strong indicator that these problems are due to the mix rather than the speakers. Other times, a certain problem may only happen on one specific set of speakers, and in this case it's your job to decide whether this is a problem with your mix or a problem with the speakers. If the reference track sounds fine on those speakers regarding the same issue, it's pretty likely that the problem is your mix. But if the reference track has the problem too, it's more likely caused by the speakers. For example, if your bass sounds way too loud on only the bass heavy sound system, but the reference track sounds fine, you probably do have too much bass in your track, and it's just not apparent on the other speakers you listened to. But if the reference track also seems to have way too much bass on the bass heavy sound system, then it's more likely your mix is okay, and the speakers just have a higher bass to treble ratio than you prefer. So once I've done this, I'll have a pretty good idea of what sounds right and what doesn't in my mix, and I'll be ready to make some adjustments. I'll start with anything that was noticeable on multiple speakers first, and I'll listen closely to my track and compare it with my reference to verify that it does need to be corrected. Most of the times, it does. I will even hear the problem on my monitors or headphones now, even if I didn't really notice it before, and will fix it and just, you know, make it sound right. Then I'll move on to the stuff that was only noticed on one set of speakers, and I'll do the same thing. With these ones though, sometimes I won't make any changes because it was a problem with the speakers and not the mix. But other times it is a problem with my mix, it just depends on the specific case, and comparing your track to the reference track while focusing on that problem area will really help you determine whether it was a problem with your mix or a problem with the speakers. Once I'm done going through my notes and fixing anything that needs to be fixed, I'll usually wait about a week and double check it again on my monitors or headphones first, and then on other speakers just like before. Waiting a week at this point just allows me to come back to it and be a little bit more objective. So hopefully you understand the importance of double checking your mixes and have a decent idea about how to go about doing it in the future.